But I'm talking about interest from uh, you know some of the Western economies, whether it's the U.S., whether it's Europe. They're all looking at, at Africa, and my only concern is uh, that uh, if the interest uh, is to serve their own economic agenda as well down the road, given the critical minerals that Nigeria has or uh, the broader African regions have, uh, then uh, you, you know, do you feel like you could be taken advantage of? Well, we're not that naive, and part of the uh, problem uh, coming out of uh, colonialism to date has been the infantilization of, uh, of African countries and Africans. So we know what is good for us. You know, it's not like taking a, a toy out of a, a child's hands. We know what our interests are. We're clear about them. We're confident, and you know, we can we can protect ourselves. We so can hold our own. How much negotiating power do you have? You think? Uh, as big a negotiating power as we had when we managed to rid Africa of um, racist regimes on the continent. Don't forget, Nigeria was at, at the forefront of that. It was at the forefront of that. But I still want to ask you, sir, how will you ensure that you get your part of the deal? And when you talk about protecting your interests, what is it that you would want uh, as part of stronger economic ties with the West? We want the African continental free trade area to work. We want intellectual property. We want fair trade. We want access to markets. Uh, the same thing that other countries want, and we know how to get it. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.